take a moment to admire this stunning world. Now ask yourself, how long would it take you or your team to build something this detailed and this immersive? Days, weeks, maybe even months. Would you believe this entire environment, every detail, texture, mesh, and location was created in just six hours from start to finish? That is the power of our new generative AI mesh generation tool, or MeshGen for short. My name's Andy, and I'm a game developer in Unit 2 Games here at Meta. In this video, we'll explore how the latest powerful AI tools are transforming world building by allowing you to dynamically generate custom meshes and seamlessly integrate them into your worlds. This innovative tool empowers creators of all skill levels to generate custom meshes of varying sizes and complexities in seconds streamline their and accelerate their world building process with AI assisted mesh creation and save valuable development time by producing game ready assets within the workflow. It also allows them to create unique environments that enhance player immersion and gameplay. The mesh generation tool harnesses the power of generative artificial intelligence to create 3D assets for your worlds. Instead of manually modeling every asset, you simply describe what you want using a prompt. Effective visual prompts should be specific about details like materials, lighting, style, scale, and mood. The more precise your description, the better the AI can match your vision. Adding details like ancient oak trees with twisted branches rather than just trees will produce much more distinct and useful results. With Gen AI Mesh Generation, you can accelerate your world building process significantly. Rather than spending hours crafting complex environments or searching for the perfect asset, you can describe exactly what you envision and integrate it directly into your world. This means more time focused on gameplay mechanics and player experience while still achieving visually stunning worlds. OK, let's look at how we use Gen AI in the desktop editor. So to start with, I'm going to select the Gen AI button up here at the top with the Gen AI icon. This will open the Gen AI pane. To generate a mesh, I'll make sure that I've got the 3D model selected uh, down the bottom here. When the panel opens, you'll see sample prompts and different categories for AI content generation. So now we can click on the 3D model icon to access the mesh generation tool. And then we're going to choose how detailed we want our mesh to be. We can choose between small, medium, and large with large meshes having more detail than small and medium meshes. Once you've picked your size, type your prompt into the prompt box and hit generate. So for this world, I'm going to drastically change the narrative of the world by adding some UFOs to the sky. So I think what would work nicely here is a 1960s B-movie style UFO with alien metal with silver alien metal. All right, let's generate that. In seconds, you'll see several shape options appear. And these are previews of what your final mesh could look like. Take a moment to look through them and then find one you like. Once you've found one, you can hover the mouse over it and click the Texture This Model button. This will apply realistic textures to your mesh based on your description. Once your mesh has finished generating, click the Save Model button to save your generated mesh to your asset library. When you save the mesh, its default location will be in a folder called Gen AI Asset. After saving to your asset library, you can move the mesh to a different folder by right-clicking it and selecting Move. This can help you organize your assets by type, area of your world, or share it with others by moving it to a shared folder or for any other classification system that works for your project. Your newly generated asset will be added to your assets folder. And once there, you can drag it into your world. So let's grab our UFO that we've just generated and drag it into our world. I'm going to put mine right here. Once it's in the world, I can move it around just like any other entity using the gizmos. So here I'm using the move gizmo. I'm going to position it here. Let's scale it up a bit and let's rotate it. Okay. 
let's take a look. Okay, so it's dramatically changed the narrative of my world because now there's aliens in the city. As an extra optimization and personalization step, you can also export the geometry of your world if you wish to use an external modeling software, something like Blender, to modify the geometry of your generated assets or to personalize the texture even further by using some kind of image processing software. To download the asset and texture, you just click the asset in your asset library. And then in the properties on the right hand side here, you want to find the source and click the download button next to the source. Give it a name and let's call my this one Retro UFO 2 and then hit save. To download the texture only, click on the arrow next to the texture here and select download source. Choose somewhere to save it in the file explorer. So again, I'm going to go to the documents. I'm going to type the name of it, Retro UFO 2 text, text, which is short for texture, and then save it. It's really cool because now I can take these assets which are saved externally and I can manipulate them and change them slightly to add variety to the world, add a bunch more different types of UFO, different colors, maybe even look at how I can have a slightly damaged UFO um, and all of that kind of stuff. There are some important limitations to be aware of when using Gen AI audio. The world's creation tools with Meta AI are currently available to users in specific countries for ages 13 and above. Availability may change over time. There are also daily rate limits per user on content created using Meta, Meta AI. For mesh generation specifically, there's a limit of 100 requests per day. To get the best results from mesh generation, I would recommend that you start with a concept in mind. Before using any Gen AI tool, it's a good idea to have a reference image of the scene that you want to create. It's not currently possible to upload a reference image to the desktop editor, but having one will help you keep track of what the theme and the end goal is and help you be more specific with your prompts. Gen AI prompts are organized in chats. If you want to generate meshes with a completely different style, start a new chat to minimize the influence of prior prompts in the new results. Also, keep prompts concise and only use words that are relevant to the asset you want to create. Use the same keywords like cartoony for consistency across different models. And I would recommend you learn and keep practicing skills in things like Blender to further optimize your AI meshes so that you can customize them for your needs and manipulate them to work in your environment. To retexture the model, enter Gen AI Texture Workspace while the mesh is actively selected in your scene. Enter a prompt for the texture you want and watch the magic happen. Okay, so for example, I can select my UFO and I can go to the texture generation and then I can just retexture that asset. Using the mesh gen tool to generate custom assets specific to your world's theme and aesthetic, you can create a more cohesive and engaging experience for your players. I would recommend that you experiment with a bunch of different prompts to discover the range and breadth of assets and styles you can create. Try all the different model sizes to gain a better understanding about the level of detail that each category generates and watch the other videos on our Gen AI series to learn about additional automated creation tools. This is a really powerful and exciting tool, and I can't wait to see what you do with it. And I'll see you in Worlds.